Here's an example how to create a variable focus in SolidWorks animations. Here we can see the focus is varied from the front to the back. Let's see that again. Here's the focus in the front, going to the back, and to the front again. And this is how we do it. I have two objects, and to make the focus vary, I using an extra object, in this case a cube. It's mated, so I can move it back and forward. And I'm also using a third mate in form of a distance, so we have a parametric uh, variable that we can change during the animation for some good control. So let's start an animation um, and let's uh, set the time for three seconds. And during this time, this um, box will move back and forward use 25 uh, frames per second so to change that go to the distance under the mates and I'm copying the first uh, keyframe just a little bit so it will stand still and on the one second mark we will change that keyframe to uh, 240 millimeters and check that the cube is on the green object and then uh, copy the same position again and copying the first position in a little bit ahead so we have a cube moving back and forward we can check that that looks nice um, now I need to think about uh, the position and the angle I have uh, done a camera view here that I want to use and I want to keep that uh, all the time in the position so I'm disabling the view orientation here and calculate it here and uh, I forgot to uh, activate it again so it will stay there so activate the camera the camera view and uh, let's uh, uh, disable it so it will stay there all the time that looks good okay um, so let's check how it looks when um, we go into the camera. The camera setting for focus is uh, using the setting depth of field and that is activated when you have a photo view add-in. Uh, we're using the position of the, this little box at the edge, the vertex there, and also uh, focus distance. Uh, of 5 millimeter, uh, and this we need to check what is the appropriate value for this camera position and uh, everything else so let's render this first position I'm using the full uh, uh, resolution I'm gonna use uh, I'll come back to the reason for that and then rend render it to see how it looks and we need to check the full resolution because that is the, the final result and if we render it in a smaller solution it could be a bit different in the blurriness of uh, what's really in focus and what's not so check that with full resolution okay first key frame looks good uh, let's hide the cube let's move up to the one second mark and see how things are looking at that point so let's render that and I can see here that the first object is really out of focus it's too blurry for my uh, taste here I really don't want to have that so we need to change the focus setting here and this we can do in the animation because in each keyframe the properties are stored in that so we copy the camera setting from the first and at the one second mark that's where we want it to change so my timeline is one second, now I'm going to the camera and I change that to something else. Also here it's impossible to really to see what's good focus distance or not, so we need to check that. So I'm losing the tap uh, three times. I'm standing here at one second mark and let's render this and see how it looks. And now it looks much better, I can now see a little bit more uh, what the first object is. It's quite out of focus of course but that is a little bit better what I want. So let's copy the camera keyframes exactly to match the distance 
so I'm moving up to see where I want to move back and here I want to keep this setting and I, then I'm copying the first setting when it's going back and also make sure that it stays there uh, so let's check the last keyframe that it's matching the position of the last animation transition here of the box and yeah that's it uh, now it's just a matter of saving the whole animation with photo view activated uh, it will take some time uh, of course depth of field takes uh, quite a lot of time full resolution 25, 25 frames per second and um, I'm using also text with codec for rendering here and okay that's it now I have a variable focus in SOLIDWORKS animation using photo view